assassins, this is Wheel, and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. Uh, now then, we are back, obviously, to start 2023 with a really, really big video today. Uh, literally, I have just finished the Creel House interior, literally, let's say, less than five seconds ago. That's great. Proud of you, man. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's kind of romantic. That's like, mm. wow. And I was like, you know what, I'll film the tour tomorrow. And then I finished it, and I was like... Oh, I'm too excited. So I really wanted to get it done and get it posted ASAP so you guys can see what I've been doing uh, over the Christmas period, really. Um, so, gotta say, this kept me so busy during the, like, coronavirus isolation. I did have the coronavirus, but um, all better now. And, uh, like I said, this just kept me kept me going and uh, kept me my brain working, I guess. So I really hope you like it. Like I said, finished five seconds ago, so there may be some stuff that may need to be changed or whatever maybe a little bit of like work in progress going on but um it is basically done so this is the grand tour ah so exciting let's go ahead and turn around and i'll show you what has been going on here we of course have the creole house you guys know this you've seen the tutorials probably already you may have built this already and i really want to thank you so much for that we've had a huge uh just viewing on those tutorials and it is insane to see the first episode at the time of this video coming out, it's at something like 18,000 views, which is mind-blowing. That is probably the most I've ever had on a tutorial, and especially a tutorial that's almost like an hour long. That's just insane. Anyways, that's enough talking. I need to <laughs> crack on and show you. I need to check if my mic is working as well. It's been that long since I recorded. I don't know if this is still working. Fingers crossed, and I've just, you know, not just filmed this entire thing and just gone like this with no audio. That would have been so embarrassing done that before <laughs> here we have the porch of course uh you don't really see this in the series you do see oh actually no i'm wrong about that you do see victor creel sat on this holding a shotgun now i must say this video is going to be packed full of spoilers so if you have yet to see stranger things season four please do not watch this video click off of it immediately load up your netflix sign in and get watching stranger things season four because it is unmissable it's so good anyways <clears throat> Back to business. <laughs> so Victor Creel is sat here. He is holding a shotgun, and uh, he's basically looking out for the demon, inverted commas, that uh, he thinks is sort of terrorizing his family. He's not wrong, um, but it's when the they've had like the incidents. Uh, sorry, the instances, instances. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, it's uh, like rabbits are being killed on the front lawn, and so are like bunnies. Same thing. <laughs> so are, like different types of animals, anyways. And uh, it's very suspicious because it's only in and around the Creole house. Ooh, how, how mysterious. How mysterious. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love to see that my English is still terrible. Anyways, <laughs> let's head on inside. So we come on in. Now you guys probably remember this from when I did the uh, I'm struggling with the Creole house video. Now, um, as you can see, I have not struggled with it too much anymore. I, I figured out a massive idea. I had a bit of a brainwave. Uh, when I was going to bed one night and woke up the next day and I was like, you know what? I'm getting the blooming Creole house done. I'm going to try my best and sort out the problem I had with that whole two-story thing. Um, excuse me. I think I've actually figured it out, though. So, in the grand lobby, we have ourselves, of course, the dangling lights. Like I said, you probably saw this already in the little video I did. But as you can see, everything is so much more decorated. We have the grandfather clock here. Um, the era I built this house, by the way, is neither modern is not from the 80s version, which of course we see the kids from Stranger Things breaking into, <laughs> and it is also uh, kind of like a representation of when Mr. Creel originally bought it. So Victor Creel actually paid for this house and like you know bought it for uh, him and his family. So this is where uh, we first see the Creel house really. So um, Victor Creel, I forget his wife's name. I, that is really bad of me I'm sorry guys but Mrs. Creel anyways when the couple move in with their two kids this is what it looks like here on the left hand side we have ourselves a little living area we have like a little seating area big shout out to my brother Jack for the banner technique here it is absolutely amazing for pillows and little seat cushions so just looks very grand now I don't know if you guys know this if you're outside of the UK probably not but um, here in England and the United Kingdom as a whole we have a organization called the National Trust and basically it means that old buildings, so very very old buildings, uh, castles, uh, manors, everything like that, 
it can be given to the National Trust or donated or sold to the National Trust and they preserve them how they were in their time periods and it allows for schools and families alike to go and visit them and learn a little bit of our history. So um, I really have tried to represent the Krill House for its Victorian state uh, and also the stuff I didn't really know I just went with like a National Trust type of feel because uh, uh, yeah well it's, I think it just looks nice but um, yeah this is where we see once again Victor Krill being tormented by uh, Vecna well actually Henry Krill but you know what I mean and um, he sees the baby kind of burning alive in the fireplace what a lovely image uh, so yeah this is the little living quarters got some stuff on the walls there very very highly decorated in each of the rooms we have bells in the top corner you may be wondering what on earth is that for well I don't know if it's the same in American Victorian style homes uh, and of course this is a very old home but um, in the UK we have bells in very old houses to uh, call upon servants or the servants can call you to dinner or things like that there will be some in the palace in uh, Buckingham Palace or you know in uh, different castles around the UK as well so we have those in the building so I thought that would be cool to add in here uh, across the hall we have ourselves another sort of sitting area again with a bell up there lots of um, fine china on the walls here <laughs> uh, the state the scale as you can see it's kind of minecrafty for like a you know a person that is worth two blocks in height like I am or it is for the scale of someone who's ginormous like this big seat here so um, <laughs> we are uh, we kind of mixed up the scale a little bit but as you know this house is huge and I didn't want it to become like a doll's house I wanted it to be realistic so I think it came out pretty good and uh, yeah we don't really see this room unless it's kind of uh, in the background or when like I said when the kids break in they do come in here but it's all run down and everything so it doesn't look like this exactly but um, this is what it looks like from real images of the home when it was uh, sold quite recently so uh, yeah I kind of mix mashed different eras to get this style so yeah, another fireplace there. Almost to the dining room. Now you guys will recognise this one. This is very important in the series, and uh, we do see this one very often in the show, which is obviously ultra helpful for building a tutorial for it. So um, we do see uh, Mrs. Creel. Let me remember her name. Let me go and research. I'll be right back. <laughs> so it is, of course, Virginia Creel. My complete mistake there, guys. I My memory is awful. Um, but yeah, Victor's wife... Virginia, this is where she is sadly killed. Uh, so she kind of, you know, does the old, Aww! and then you think she's going to maybe heaven, and then <laughs> destroyed. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a real heartwarming scene. On <laughs> no, no, it's terrible. Um, and in here, the reason I knew that this whole room existed here, and the dining room was in this room rather than somewhere else in the house, because I didn't have a map, I had to look at window placements, and I could see. In the background of her tragic death you can see this turret window super helpful to know that this was on the left side of the house and you know second room from the front of the building so very very cool um, so yeah this is the dining room it's got some nice uh, decor we have a fireplace of course in here as well with a big mirror we also have this very grand unit and cabinet which this is in the actual Creel house as well this is not a prop this is actually in the real one so um, to the lucky new owners they actually have this beautiful cabinet in there as well now. Uh, now I just realised when doing a little bit more research, this is not actually a mirror. So let's quickly change this on camera. Oh, that looks hideous. Right, let's uh, pick block that one. Perfect. <laughs> no, it's. I think it's like a little um, space for a vase to be, with um, some flowers in there, and of course. But uh, yeah, I. I think in the show there's like a little reflection. I just thought it was a mirror, so my bad. Anyways, onwards back to the hallway. So a little bit of detail in the hallway, not much going on. We've got this big sort of chiming clock up here on the wall. Uh, another uh, candelabra, big chair there, uh, very, very big back door. Now I will say that I do need to tidy up the back of the house. As I say, I got really, really ultra excited to give you guys the grand tour that I've not actually <laughs> finished up exterior details so far. So it's gonna look like this, you know, during this video, but when it comes to building the back of the building, should look a little bit nicer. Uh, as I was just saying before guys about uh, remodeling the back of the house, I have just gone ahead and finished it actually. I thought, you know, whilst we're here we may as well get it done too. Uh, so here we are at the back of the house. It now just looks a lot more tidy and uh, kind of how you could imagine the real Creole house to be. Sadly I don't have any real images of the back of the Creole house in order to build it correctly. 
um, obviously for security reasons and privacy reasons that would be pretty uh, pretty bad to get it like super accurate but um we do have you know just a just a little bit of uh fictional stuff going on back here so we don't actually know if this is true or not um but uh, you can always add in a few extra windows in the back of the house if you wish and uh, yeah i just think this little sort of porch area this decking area just is a nice touch with the hedges and sort of um flowery benches just here and whatnots and we also do have them all the way around the house apart from the front of the building of course because we need to keep this sort of iconic to the show and realistic. So uh, yeah, there we are. Now the rooms I didn't know what was in here. So for example, this room here, you can imagine this may be a pantry or something along those lines, maybe even a bathroom downstairs. Um, but as I didn't know what was here and I didn't really want to sort of teach you guys something that was unnecessary to teach because you can see the style of the house. So I'm sure you could probably fill in this room with something to your liking. Then I didn't want to go and teach you something, you know, that would just be a little bit boring. So the ones I have uh, didn't know what, what were in, uh, what had stuff in even, um, I've just kind of done the floor, a little bit of light in the ceiling, maybe some curtains and that's it. Same over here. So sadly, Assassins, once again, my recording did cut out. Uh, I tell you what, the first thing I am saving up to buy this year is definitely going to be a capture card. <laughs> um, but here I was going to say we have another one of these little rooms that I didn't really know what to fill with. And then we go into the kitchen where we have a really magnificent and long dining table. Uh, these anvils, by the way, in the item frames represent telephones, like the old sort of dial ones where you sort of spin the dial around and it, you know, you can call up people, obviously. <laughs> uh, we have ourselves a big sort of, uh, you can imagine that's like a little pantry sort of thing. Some frying pans on the wall. Nice clock. Uh, very big cabinet again. This is again from the real house, so I didn't find any pictures from the show we never see the kitchen in the show we never see some of these rooms in the show at all actually but um of course they do exist it is a seven bedroom seven bathroom house so um, there are a lot of rooms i have missed um but uh, you guys can always fill them in like i said if you want to so yeah we have the kitchen here very nice very grand lovely big stove at the back there and another empty room just here again not really done much with this one let's go on outside quickly whilst we're on the first floor Obviously, just ignore the uh, back garden being a bit messy at the moment. So we come in here. Shouldn't be a vine there. Come on, vines. Come on. We're filming a tutorial. A, a video, even. Uh, this is the greenhouse. So I just made a little greenhouse out here. I felt I was using a lot of wood on the inside of the building. Because, of course, that was the style back in the, the sort of Victorian period that this house is based from. And I felt like we needed a little bit more greenery. But I didn't want to include it in the house because the house is supposed to be eerie. So um, here we have a nice greenhouse, some sea grass or uh, kelp. I think it's called sea grass in Minecraft. But anyways, that's growing just there. And we also have uh, some vines and stuff hanging from the roof. And there is kelp as well, isn't there? I remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. Very green. Back outside. Let's go back around to the front side. Uh, and let's climb the staircase. So very big porch. I wanted to still keep the uh, lights under the windows. So I've tried to do that. So it still looks super ominous and super just eerie um, all the way here. Now you can't notice it from this angle, which I love, apart from, you know, this window being covered up. Um, but you can't really notice the interior. And when you do, it looks really cool. But one thing I was going to say is you can't notice I've changed the roof. Ta-da! <laughs> I've actually changed the turret up there a little bit, just so it goes backwards a little bit further. Now I'm not sure if that is... You know realistic to the original i don't think it is because i looked on google earth when i was building this one and uh built it towards you know google earth's imaging but uh you know this is for minecraft so it's all good up the staircase top of the stairs a little gap over there wonder what that could be shall i show you straight away oh no we should say that until last we should say that until last Whew, come on gotta keep myself at bay here right <laughs> we got another big window and these uh, fence gates are going to come up a lot in the tutorial. Same with trapdoors. They are ultra helpful in uh, making the design. So here, just a little cupboard. And then we have ourselves Alice Creel's room. So we do see this in the series because Alice has like a night terror. And um, of course, you see uh, Victor and Virginia Creel running in to aid her. So um, she's sitting in the bed there. And you can see behind the bed. And you can also see in front of the bed. The one thing I did miss in this room was she does have a little desk. Uh, in one corner of the room. It's like a split second you see it. Uh, and I was a little bit gutted I couldn't fit it in. But as it's there for like a second. 
I hope that's not too much trouble. But um, yeah, it's all detailed in here anyways, making it look like a proper bedroom. There is a bathroom that goes in here, but we don't need to build it because it's not in the series. But again, if you want to build this, feel free. Master bedroom, again, not seen in the series sadly, but uh, this is here with the turret windows. The, the room usually with the most windows in an old house is the one that the master bedroom is like is where it's located uh, usually it has bathrooms on both sides as well just so you know for uh <laughs> for uh maybe like the two people that stay in the room they have a bathroom each which is pretty greedy isn't it but that's how it used to work uh we have another bedroom here just next door instead of a bathroom and i knew that this bathroom was here because we see a scene with virginia creel coming to the bathtub here and uh spiders are coming out of the drain and she's obviously very like panicked about that and she runs downstairs to Henry and then he comes to investigate and that is how I could see where the toilet was this little cabinet behind was the sink even and you know the chandelier above so yeah lots of lots of scrubbing through the series just to find little things for details and whatnot it's been a very big adventure uh, it's gonna be nice to teach you guys this but it is gonna be pretty crazy as well there's a lot to do as you can see but I hope you like the style so far so yeah, I put a fermented spider's eye just there to represent the spiders. I just felt that was a little cool Easter egg. And then we come on into another bedroom here. Very grand window once again to represent the same one as downstairs. Uh, so this can be another room. Again, we're not seeing this one in the series, sadly. But uh, this can be maybe split into a couple rooms or you can keep this as one big sort of um, gathering room or like playroom even or something like that. It's an old house, so you could definitely use your imagination for that. Now this bathroom, this bathroom is very important once again. It's uh, the one that we see Henry doing some suspicious activities in. What are those suspicious activities I hear you ask? Well, besides the toilet, we have ourselves a drain. In the drain, we have ourselves spiders in glass bottles. Pretty cool. Also pretty creepy. Uh, <laughs> so that was a cool little easter egg. Big shout out to uh, Joe Keery, obviously Steve Harrington, for... Uh, in the scene coming up to this area and then the awesome cameraman for filming from this direction and a little bit towards this way I could see that there was a wall there I couldn't see there was a bathtub this way and I couldn't see any other details on this side of the bathroom but because of this fancy wall usually in old houses they separate the toilet from the bathtub and it was so that the piping could fit in between and then of course you know it would all be hidden behind the scenes pretty awesome but um, yeah we have a uh, nice detailed bathroom and of course that little easter egg down there uh, and obviously a chandelier again, pretty cool. Uh, another room that goes on to another room. Ooh, so many rooms. And then from this room, we do see a scene, one scene again, about five seconds long, of Dustin coming into this area and the camera is filming from this perspective here. So we can see where the bed is, where that little desk is, and then where this armchair is, but everything else in the room, we do not see. But those are the major things anyways. And as this is a small room, it was pretty easy to just build the rest so pretty good stuff but uh yeah we have another bathroom on onwards from that one now my favorite part of the entire thing the thing i've been desperately wanting to show you guys but i can't keep my mouth shut so i really just oh i've been trying to hold it for so long sounds like i should go to the bathroom but <laughs> right okay so of course the attic very major major scene in the quill house Coming on to the attic, we have ourselves the ritual that Henry, of course, uh, does to summon Vecna. And then we have the man himself at the back. And it's very corrupted, this area. And it doesn't show from the outside of the building, which is beautiful. So you can keep the whole aesthetic going. And it's only you that are going to know Vecna is chilling in the loft. You know, maybe playing some NES or something. But um, <laughs> over here in one of the scenes with Victor who goes to investigate because he you know is suspicious of demonic activities and things he does come up to the attic and he does look this way uh, now I can't remember exactly what he's looking at but there is a wheelchair here and there's also a broken window which you have both of these things represented just here so we had another recording blip as you saw there but here is an artificial window I literally had to build to kind of light up this attic space um, but yeah the entire thing is detailed in here cobwebs everywhere of course and um, yeah, Vecna chilling at the back. He's a lot smaller than the big one I did, but hey, it's not the size that counts. Right, anyways, let's um, head on downstairs again. 
and that kind of concludes the tour to be honest but I really hope that you're excited for this because I am ultra excited to bring you this video I uh, <laughs> I feel like this could be used as almost like a murder mystery for those that uh, have never seen them before check out Phoenix's channel Phoenix is a an older youtuber and uh, older as in he's been around longer than my channel I mean not not like an old guy sorry Phoenix <laughs> um, but yeah he does uh, murder mysteries he used to do them with Jake Lobox who's an awesome creator he also built a Starcourt mall uh, which kind of inspired my one to be honest so definitely go check out Jake as well and uh, a bunch of other ones other creators that uh, did the murder mysteries with them but um, yeah this this could definitely be like a murder mystery map is that sort of scale and um, if you are someone who likes to add in some tunnels and stuff like that you could definitely make this into a mini game so it'd be really awesome to see. I'd love to hear what you guys can do with this uh, in the comments below. But like I say, that concludes everything for today's video. And the rest I'll have to show you when we're, the, we're building it, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm blown away by like how how much progress has been made here. I um, As I say, I, I was like, before Christmas, I was panicking because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. I built it way too big for my scale that I'm used to. And I have no idea how to build like chairs or um, sofas or anything like on the scale that I need it to be. But then again, for some reason, my mind is good under pressure and I just sort of went for it. And uh, this is how it turned out. And as you can see uh, with the staircase here, when I got the banister going, I was like, I've got this now. And this little gap, it's only two blocks. And the roof is just, you know, it flows so nicely. And that is the part I was panicking about the most before, but now I'm just laughing at myself because it is pretty funny. But, um, ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for believing in me anyways, guys. I really appreciate you all. And uh, I'm very glad that uh, you got me to stick with it because I think if you hadn't been so like, yeah, we want an interior and yeah, you got this and stuff, I probably would have given up. So I want to thank you so much. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please be sure to drop a like. If you are super excited like I am to get started with the tutorials, it's going to be a hell of a series. It's going to be a huge one. I definitely recommend subscribing below uh, and maybe sticking on the bell as well for those tutorials. But that is all for today. I'm going to go take a very big drink because I've been talking too long. Uh, <laughs> as I say, so excited. It's going to be wicked. Thank you so much, Assassins. You take the best of care. Follow me up on my social medias for more updates on the Creole House interior. And I will see you very shortly for another Wheel Assassin guide. Goodbye for now.